From Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Original equipment manufacturer Daimler Trucks Southern Africa has launched a line of electric heavy-duty trucks, the e actos range, as part of its Power Up Electric Mobility offering. Maline Arnoldi attended the launch. The fully battery electric truck range includes the Mercedes-Benz e actros 300, e actros 400 and truck tractor variants, all with different wheelbase configurations. The range offers zero emissions and zero noise and complements the Fuso e-canter light-duty electric trucks that DTSA launched in 2020. The e actros 300 has three lithium-ion battery packs with a battery capacity of 336 kWh and offers a travel range of 330 km. It can be charged from 20% to 80% within one hour and 15 minutes. The gross vehicle mass of the e actros 300 ranges from 19 tons to 27 tons, offering body and payloads ranging from 8.2 tons to 16.1 tons. The e actros 400 has four batteries with a capacity of 448 kilowatt hour and a travel range of 400 kilometers. This model has a gross vehicle mass of 27 tons and a payload of up to 15.4 tons. The new trucks incorporate Mercedes-Benz's patented electric axle technology. DTSA product strategy head Justin Barnard tells us more. The main technology that we have painted, patented on the e actros is the e axle. Um, this is a completely different concept to what the other um, competitors are employing where they make use of a central drive concept where they replace the diesel engine with an electric motor but they still maintain the transmission, the prop shaft and the um, drive axle. So what we've done differently is we've integrated the electric motor and the two-speed transmission directly in front of the drive axle. So this means it's a much more compact solution. It is also more lightweight which gives you um, a benefit in terms of payload as well as in terms of available space to fit batteries. Because as we all know the more batteries you can fit to the vehicle the further you can extend the range. The other benefit as well of an e-axle is that it is far more efficient in terms of recuperating energy when you want to slow down the vehicle and what recuperation means is you basically turn the electric motor into a generator and you feed electricity back into the batteries of the vehicle. The trucks are best suited for distribution applications in cities, including the fast-moving consumer goods and parcel delivery sectors. It can power refrigeration systems using the existing batteries on the truck. Barrard elaborates about the benefits of using an electric truck. So the first benefit is um, that you do not produce any um, the vehicle doesn't produce any carbon emissions um, because there's no diesel engine that, that runs. Um, the, the main benefit in terms of energy savings is that you, if you produce your electricity yourself on site, then you're a fixed energy cost and you are not subjected to any diesel price fluctuations that occurs during a, the year. Uh, DTSA's e-mobility offering includes an e-consultancy service to help customers plan the additional charging and or renewable energy infrastructure required to charge the vehicles and further reduce customers' carbon emissions. The e-consultancy offering covers the entire planning process from developing an individual e-mobility rollout plan to full depot electrification, as well as vehicle selection advice. These advisors can also assist with grid connection and navigating the regulatory environment on renewable energy installations. Through smart charging, customers are able to charge vehicles at times when electricity tariffs are lower, which also helps to reduce the peak power demand on the grid. The e-consultancy team can provide three-dimensional modeling for customers' depots or plants to ensure the most practical investments are made. DTSA is currently working with commercial charging infrastructure provider Aversa to provide customers with charging stations. Barnard unpacks the e-consultancy offering and charging matters. With the move towards e-mobility, it's not just a case of purchasing a truck now and operating it independently um, of the OEM anymore. Now you have to consider the complete um, offering. So what e-consultancy does is we look at how can the customer best integrate the charging solution now to um, charge up these vehicles because as we know there's no public charging infrastructure at this, uh, in place at this point in time. At, what we do believe in the short term 
the quickest way to introduce e-vehicles into your fleet is going to be through depot charging. And this means that the customer recharges the vehicle at his own depot or warehouse. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.